getting about um, oh half a gallon to a gallon per day. Just drill the hole there and as it warms up and it's like uh, 40, 50 degrees during the day seems to be the highest production days. Today it was about 45. So I am reducing the sap down very slowly. Uh, the stove boils it too quickly. The crock pot is kind of maintenance free but slow. It only boils down, oh, a few inches a day. So I'm evaporating maybe half a gallon a day and it's going to take a while. Um, but it's a good first experiment. It's a crock pot on high and I can only put in about a gallon, gallon and a half at a time. I just keep adding to it. Oh, and there's this sediment that keeps forming in there. Um, but I think I can just filter that out with a coffee filter. Well, it's been uh, almost three weeks and I have put in, oh, 30 gallons of sap into this crock pot. It's boiled off a little more than a gallon a day. And I've started filtering it and this has been a pretty difficult process. Uh, the filters plug up right away. But as you can see, uh, it's cooked down. Right now it's still warm, but it's certainly sweet. Uh, it's still a little thin, so I'm just going to go with a judgment call, cook it down a little more, and stick it in a glass bottle. Alright, so, first try. Uh, it smells sort of good, but it's a little thin. And here's our first waffle. I just tried it, and here's the uh, prognosis. It's freaking horrible. Nothing like maple syrup three weeks down the drain, I would never bother making birch syrup uh, by reducing it ever or a complete waste of time. So glad you watched the video. Bye.